Good morning. So I'm um, going to talk a little bit about confidence, and then I'm going to do my week or my Monday morning tarot reading for how the week is going to go kind of deal. Um, tomorrow, we're going to talk about boundaries. Had a nice conversation this morning um, about boundaries with people, so um, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. And um, let me just invite some people. If you're jumping in right now, please do the same. Share this video. It's public so anybody can watch it. As always, you can jump onto my YouTube channel if you aren't available to see these live and you want to go out there. All of my videos are being uploaded out there right now. I haven't really done any of the old ones yet there. Well, maybe just a few, but, um, you know, that's where we are. So, um, what is confidence? Confidence is knowing that we have enough, that we are enough. Um, what isn't confidence is seeking the support and approval of other people. Um, I think that when you have lived through a lot of PTSD <clears throat> or have felt marginalized in your life that you, or, or for me anyway, I, I have to seek out the approval of other people. I want them to tell me that what I'm doing is okay, that I'm doing it right, that my opinion matters. And really, that isn't what we need to do. We need to have our own opinions and have our own boundaries and have our own confidence in what we're saying and doing as being okay. And we have to know that sometimes we're not going to be completely right in what we say, do, and feel. But you're allowed to have opinions. And you know, when you experience pain, from some of the things that you do that aren't correct, you will probably learn your lesson about those, but that's not, shouldn't be something that's a confidence breaker because you've actually maybe gotten something a little wrong. Do you compare yourself to other people? Do you think if I just was thinner, if I was just taller, if I had just gotten that degree, if they had only just used me instead of that other person as a real estate agent, do you compare yourself to other people to find your confidence? That's not what you should be doing. You should only be comparing yourself to yourself and you should only be um, trying to be in competition with yourself to make yourself a better person um, today than you were yesterday. Um, you should embrace and accept who you are, where you are, physically, spiritually, and mentally. Everything that we do to better ourselves, regardless of whether it's something in our mental awareness or physical awareness or spiritual awareness takes practice. So you're only going to be as good at confidence in yourself as if you start practicing it. Some people don't like the term fake it until you make it, but I think it's really important to um, tell yourself that you are all those things and even if you don't believe what you're saying because eventually you will as you gain more confidence in your confidence. Uh, Sometimes there are people that went that like went, so we just talked about how you you think if I was just thinner, taller, smarter, prettier, younger, whatever, then I would be more confident. But have you ever noticed people who aren't the things that you consider yourself that you're not either? The other people that that maybe aren't thinner, people that aren't taller, that don't have better teeth, that are confident in themselves. Those people don't need the external, and that's what we're trying to get away from. We're trying to only be in competition with ourselves and see ourselves for the beautiful fucking miracle that we are in this lifetime right now. So be confident in your flaws and imperfections because that's what makes you uniquely you and beautiful. Um, when you don't feel confident, what ends up happening is you start to feel inferior to other people and to situations. You lose control of yourself. You, you cr scratch and claw for people to accept your position, your opinion, your presence in their lives. And that's not something that we should be doing. We should be trying to be okay with who we are and be okay with who isn't in our lives and who walks out of our lives and who we decide shouldn't have access to us. All of those things are okay. Doesn't mean that you hate people. Doesn't mean that you, uh, it also doesn't mean that you're not angry when you send people away. You're allowed to have your righteous anger. You're allowed to vocalize that if you're given that opportunity. And you're allowed to shake the dust off your shoes and move on if the person that you're talking to doesn't accept that as their reality. Perfectly fine, all of those things. Uh, 
don't compare find what you enjoy find what you what you enjoy to do and persevere to it so that you can improve yourself and look at those things that happen in your life as opportunities to understand yourself better so if some terrible thing happens between you and another individual take a step back instead of reacting to them and ask yourself what is it about that situation what is the lesson in it for me so that I can learn to be a better human and then do you think you'd have more confidence if you did those things do you think that that trying to change you causes you a lack of peace be who you are so Allow yourself to be shorter, older, less teeth, no education, but still bright, articulate, and intelligent enough to express your needs, your wants, your boundaries, and your spirituality to people who don't accept it. And it's okay if somebody thinks that, you know, the only people that I can have around me are people that have got um, extensive resumes of degrees in political science, um, in marketing, whatever they've gone to college for, those are the only people that I can have around me. Okay, you do you, boo, and I'll do me over here in the corner. How about that? Everybody has to walk their own path, has to see things their own way. We can't change any of that. And that will take away your peace and that will take away your joy anyway. So stop judging yourself. Start working on yourself instead. And that's how I feel about that. So let's do our tarot. And um, see what today has for me, because I'm kind of curious. As uh, it's a new week, it's Monday, so let's see what the gods are trying to tell me I should be looking for this week, so that I can face it connected to the divine, the divine source, and stay plugged in to whatever it is she's trying to teach me. I mean, he's trying to teach me, or whatever it is. You can get you a reading if you hit me up. We can do it on uh, voice chat. We can do it on video chat. You can come to me. I'll be in Bradenton from to this afternoon until a week from Wednesday. I'll be back in Pasco County. We can do it then as well. What the fuck, kids? Okay, so my significator card is the Eight of Swords reversed, um, a time of where I finally got myself, I think, out of that bondage that I've been in, that I put myself in for a really long time. That to me is where I am right now, kind of a lack of where I had been in a lack of knowing that I was my own worst enemy. I think I finally am seeing that, so that's where I am now. It's time to be more introspective, though. This is my first card in my past, um, my past position. So uh, before, there, if you would see this card, it'd be shedding light on subjects from above and really taking into consideration. I think now it's time, or it had been in the past for me to go more deep into why I was here to begin with. So I have taken some introspection to figure out what is going on with me instead of asking why it happens to me, I'm asking why do I allow it to happen to me? What is it that I'm doing to cause the problems that I already had going on on going forward in my life? When I see the uh, Queen of Wands, I usually see myself. She is reversed. So I had lost my light, I had lost my fire, had lost my passion. I was really kind of in a place where I was not um, – I was not functioning because I was trying to look outward for all the problems that were going on inside and they were all about me. If I would see the Eight of Cups straight up, which this is also in my past, this is reverse, I would say that I was moving on for new horizons. I think that I've 
already moved on. I think that I think that's why my whole past is reversed because everything that I was trying to figure out and assess blame to, I've already figured it all out now. I know what I need to do to move forward. And so I have everything I need to do that, in which I got the magician card last week when we started this as well. So in the present, I have the ace of swords reversed. I spent a lot of time thinking about stuff, um, and I think the time for that is over because I have – upped the ante with my spiritual life. Um, this is the Six of Swords, which always reminds me of a guiding presence. You can't see in the back of the boat, but there's actually looks like a spirit person who is helping this person in the boat get to the place that they need to. They're coming out of waters that were disturbed and a little rock, rough, but they're coming upon the shore and they've thought a lot of things through. They're moving forward with the help of their spiritual guidance of, of a god or the divine consciousness whatever you want to call it I, then i have the six of uh pentacles reversed and this tells me that the, my time of generosity has sort of come to an end i need to stop expecting people to hand things to me and start to do things for my own self that will achieve the results that i would like them to achieve then in my future i have the Ace of Wands reversed. Ace Wands again. Um, aces are beginnings. Wands are all about creativity and spark and fire to get things done. Um, I kind of think when I see these that this is all about um, planting seeds right now out into the cosmos or in my mind or really firing up the actions that I'm trying to achieve. The eight of Pentacles is about mastery. Eights are always about mastery of the whatever suit that they are in. And pentacles are about your home life, your work life, your money situation, your security. Um, so I am working on that right now. I, and I think there's going to be some new growth there. So um, that's going to be an interesting time. Uh, the Then I have the four of, of pentacles. Normally when I would see this card, I would say that somebody is really closed off from new opportunities and new ideas. So I'm going to take this as a warning that I need to um, not be closed off to what opportunities are going to be um, showing themselves to me. Um, because that's actually what I've been praying about is that my eyes would be open to whatever opportunities might present themselves and that I would know for a fact that I was being divinely sent to those places and that I would know that that's the gods telling me that this is the thing that I'm supposed to be doing or this actually this is the thing that I'm supposed to be doing so I need to make sure that I don't become too closed off to any kind of um, opportunities that I've already prayed for thus being connected to that divine source I want to go look at that eight of swords reverse where I feel like I have finally come out of that prison of my own making judgment reversed the world reversed and the knight of uh, or the king of swords reversed so all of those are reversed which goes right with my card that's reversed as well um, I I I felt like I was being judged I felt like the world was not being opened up to me and I really felt like I was being maneuvered and pushed in my mind very hard um, <clears throat> but I think things like that are changing for me there. Um, because my card was already reversed, it, it doesn't bother me so much that there was a bunch of uh, reversed ones that came in there too. So I think I want to look at that Six of Swords card in my present future thing. Um, it's the Empress reversed, the Sun, and the Eight of Wands. So... That time of incubation is over, just like I said. At so many possibilities, it's a sunny, wonderful position that I'm in. And this movement that's going to happen with me is going to happen very, very quickly. So that's a very good thing. Um, Eight of Pence is the Knight of Wands reversed, the Ten of Wands. Um, reversed and the Queen of Pentacles so the Knight of Wands is the messenger um, the message is over you've already gotten it you've dropped all the shit that you need to drop 
and you are now in a time of extreme growth and abundance is coming. Let me go to that four of pence. Six of cups reversed. Your idea of what things are supposed were supposed to be is now different, and you don't have that same idea of how you think things should be. It's not. It's a fault. It was false anyway. Um, the two of wands reversed. You are now coming to a time where you need to really be looking at what is coming for you, what new things are, are going to be avail themselves from you. And stop being such a fucking jerk about, stop looking so that you can, st stop looking at the things that you were looking at that so you can, ju just so you can get, because you're gonna get what you need now, don't be a fucking dick when you get them and look at people and go, nana nana fucking boo boo. You, you need to look at your blessing as a blessing and make and let your light shine outward so that people know that you have actually changed as as a human. Let's go to this eight of cups reversed. You found justice and you lost sleep over it. And you were waiting for all of those things to bring you money because you were worried about it all the time. You felt like justice was not being served to you. But in reality, it was the lesson that I needed to learn. I needed it so badly, but I continued to lose sleep over why things were being done to me instead of why I was doing what I was doing to myself. Personal responsibility, that hermit card. Sense of balance, two of uh, pence, knight of, king of wands, and uh, page of pentacles reversed. So it's a precarious place. Because before the hermit is telling us all about what are we, what do, what can we see from a different perspective, and what I needed to see was there was balance in all of those things that needed to be done. That my fiery temperament is is something that will help me get things done that I need to do. But the time for messages are, is over. I I already know what I need. Well, the time for mastery is over because that when you see a page, a page is the beginnings of learning the mastery of that particular suit, which is home life, money, security. You have all you need to have. So it's time for you to move the fuck on and do what you need to do. If you want a reading, let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. It's time to exercise.